Hi guys, I was going to do a video on, I believe this would be pre-shading, um, and I think post-shading is something that you lay down, like, the color you want, and then you, um, put your shading over this, like, this little edge and these edges, so I'm going to just show you on the part that I'm going to be doing for my high V right now, um, which I want to be a white, and I primed the part using uh, Vallejo's black and gray. I did a uh, two to one ratio, so two uh, drops of gray to one drop black to get this darker gray to go underneath. And what I will be showing you is... Uh, how I went about shading my first leg. I just changed my PSI to about 15, 18. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here. I'm going to start with the edges first. I'm going to get the parts that I really want white defined. And then I'm going to bring it in here. So the parts that I really want that white color, I'm going to try and fill those in first. And then I'm going to move on to this other section right here. Just to get an outline of where I want the shade to start. And obviously since that's a really bold line, that I've created, what you do is you go over it just very lightly with the with the white, very so lightly, just to help blend that back into the really white parts. And um, this is where it comes down to preference on how much you want this sh uh, uh, this to be pronounced. So. And it's really, it's really key to try and keep things as, like, even as possible. I know it's very difficult. But you want to try and keep, like, the line as close to the same on both sides as possible. And since I'm going for a really bold look, I'm only using a very little amount of white to cover up this gray part. Now, um, so there, I've seen other uh, pieces where it's barely showing this uh, gray coming through, but it's still coming through. And so for right here, just gonna get the tip. And it's always a good thing to try and work as, like, as slowly as possible when you're trying to figure out where you want to put that shade at. And, uh, barely putting any, uh, paint through the airbrush. But then to go back and really make sure that the white areas are completely white. It's a little bit trickier because you want to start out in the middle and then slowly start to spread that out towards the edges right there. And then all you do is go back over it with a little bit of white, at least for what I'm trying to achieve, which is a really bold line, but not so bold that it's like <laughs> it hurts your eyes. 
just a touch of white just to fade it into the background a little bit. And then really it's just trying to make everything as even as possible. I know it's almost impossible to do that, but uh always always be careful when you're fading it into the background as well and try to put on as little as possible and then check it and then keep adding little layers because um, with this particular process doing pre-shading um, there's no real way to try and get this darker again um, so you would have to reprime the part or just strip the paint and prime the part it again and then trying to go back over this uh, would be a big pain so it's always it's always real key when um, when working with pre-shading it's to be as light as possible when adding on the shading and I think that is looking pretty good for what I want yeah yeah all right so this part that I did had um, some kind of really hard, like, tricky lines to work with. Oh, I forgot this part. Um, but I'll demonstrate on one other part that I'm going to be working with. And really the inside shading can just kind of be whatever you want it to be. Because this is only going to be showing up on my particular gotten apart um, only slightly. So it's a little bit more forgiving. Alright. So that looks pretty good. And then I'll demonstrate on one more part. <clears throat> where the edges are a little bit more defined and it's a little bit easier to work with. So I'm going to be starting out here. Let me adjust the camera just slightly. Just gonna fade that in a little bit. I'll come back to this side. So on these middle pieces, it's easiest to work from the middle and then go outward. I think the edges are a little, uh, a little bit easier, only because they're a little, they're uh, more forgiving in terms of uh, not accidentally going too much into your shaded part that you want to keep shaded. And that part is looking about pretty good too. Just doing a few touch-ups here and there, and then painting in these hard edges right here. And 
And that's how I have achieved my um, appreciating for the high V that I'm working on. And you can do this with any color. Um, it all depends on what shade you want underneath. So I've heard um, for white, it's okay to use black, but I know that there's some people that prefer to use um, opposite colors for their pre-shade, so it's not as t um, of a harsher look. So for instance, for red, you could use either a really dark purple that you would put on the bottom of this part, all of it, and then to go underneath it, or to go on top of it, sorry, um, you would put, you'd lay down the red, and then you'd get like a really cool, um, purpley look. That would be the shaded part, but it would still, it'd be, it would be a lot um, better looking than if you just used plain old black, because it won't be as harsh. It'll be a little bit more uh, gradual faded into the red instead of like a really harsh like trying to cover up that black with the red which can sometimes not work as well as you'd hope and then some colors like yellow if you try to do that um like if you wanted yellow on top of this it wouldn't even you wouldn't even be able to get this uh to come out as yellow it'd be a really dirty like brown color so like for yellow what you could do is um you could put uh, you could lay down a purple but then li lay a little bit of a white coat on top of it and then lay down your yellow um yellow is a really hard color to work with because it doesn't easily go over too many dark colors to come out pretty nine times out of ten it just comes out brown but um i hope this video helped you a little bit more on like pre-shading and that's how i went about shading my high v uh leave a comment uh in the sec in the comment section if you have any questions uh and i'll hope to make more of these videos soon and you guys have a wonderful day. Bye!